Hi, I'm Paul Kozowski, and welcome to The Crawl. It's hard to believe that 2022 is almost over, but I'd like to end on a high note. I'm going to introduce you to a Charlotte brewery called Old Mecklenburg. Now, uh, you might have seen some of their beers at stores nearby, um, but uh, what I really like about this place, besides the great beer, is that they really focus on tradition. So uh, as we approach the holiday season, uh, I think that it's a great way to uh, wrap up this year. Old Mecklenburg's Brewery's claim to fame is that it's Charlotte's oldest. That sounds prestigious, but it opened in 2009, so it hasn't been that long. But when we talk about OMB's old school roots, we're talking really old, dating all the way back to 1516 with the adoption of Reinheitsgebot. That's a German purity law of beer, which essentially states that beer can only have four ingredients, water, hops, yeast, and malted grains. By sticking to these four simple ingredients, OMB hopes to create traditional beer with a high degree of quality. The traditions don't end there. Mecklenburg Brewery is named after the county that contains the city of Charlotte. Both the city and the county are named after Sophia Charlotte of mecklenburg stielitz who would eventually marry King George. Yes, that King George. In addition to being the wife of America's first enemy number one, she holds the distinction of introducing the Christmas tree to the English-speaking world. That's a lot of tradition to uphold, and Mecklenburg Brewery doesn't disappoint. The outdoor venue itself is reminiscent of a Bavarian beer garden, and the beer stands are styled like cabins. Needless to say, they don't mess around when it comes to beer as well. After all, if you're going to make beer the German way, you might as well serve it that way as well. Almost all the beers available on tap are served in one liter steins. And don't worry about it getting stale. OMB's beers are designed to create a lot of head when they pour. The froth on top not only looks cool, it also acts as an insulator that keeps in temperature, carbonation, and flavor. The rounded segments on the stein provides nucleation sites that creates the head, ensuring the beer stays protected for longer. And they say drinking too much beer makes you stupid. Now you would expect a place that serves German beer to serve good German food, and again, Mecklenburg delivers. What I love about their food is that they don't phone it in. I've been to lots of beer halls that serve sausages, but this place will serve knockwurst, bratwurst, weisswurst, you get the idea. You're also looking at a vinegar-based potato salad and traditional sauerkraut. Because they stick to Reinheitsgebot, you can always expect a high-quality beer without any off flavors. However, it also means there's a lot of different types of beers you won't see. Sours, lambics, and other fruited varieties are verboten by their standards. And many varieties that rely on extracts won't be seen at OMB. Even IPAs, which can technically be made with just water, hops, yeast, and grain, is not part of Mecklenburg's repertoire because they rely on more potent American hops and not the mild, subtle flavorings of the German noble hops. In fact, the vast majority of their beer are not ales at all, but lagers, which was the original beer the framers of Reinheitsgebot had in mind. That doesn't mean you can't find variety. Between Hefeweizen, Box, Pilsners, Motzen beers, and Pilsners, You'll have plenty of liters before you run out of options. Mix in the occasional Prosecco ice pop for some extra variety, and you're looking at a very good afternoon.